was a kid, I loved watching the Lotus in the Formula One. That was a very, very big influence for me growing up and uh, one of the reasons I became passionate about Lotus. I've got the track car, which Lee and the team are working on at the moment, and one or two other older collectibles. So it's very much part of my life. We're probably one of the biggest dedicated Lotus facilities in the world. We like to think we're a little bit different. Um, I'm an automotive engineer, studied for, for many years. We're involved in the racing community, so we run a car in the Australian GT Championship. We've got uh, three or four mechatronic engineers here. So yeah, very much so, we're focused on the engineering and we would sell a car based on knowledge and passion for the car. And as a customer, that, that gives me a lot of comfort because I know that when Lee and the team are working on my track car, they're also bringing back that experience from the race cars and understand engineering at a very deep level. Lotus Brand's been synonymous with racing in the 70s and 80s, one of the most successful marks ever. There's a lot of innovations through the years where Colin Chapman was always challenging the rule book that what was regarded as the norm. Lotus have, you know, they're fairly unique in that they really stick to their values. Their engineering comes first. They do what they do well and they stick to it. Performance through lightweight, that's what it's about. And that's a fantastic thing that's carried right through from the beginning of Lotus to now in the current models. This is a new V6 Exige Roadster. It's um, a derivative of the Coupe, which came out last year. It's a little bit more refined. Still got the same engine, still got the same chassis, still got the same ride and handling, but just a little bit more livable. If we take a look at the supercharged 3.5 litre V6 engine, you notice the supercharger on top here by Harrop. Uh, Melbourne-based company. This is a transversely mounted V6 engine. The superchargers here. You'll find the throttle body, the airbox, um, you find the gearbox on this side. It really is a, a weapon for the road. It's 350 brake horsepower, 400 newton metres of torque, 0 to 100 in 3.9 seconds. It makes most of its torque around about 3,700 RPM, just before 4,000. It's, it's on. I call it dangerous power. It's absolutely exciting. It's a special car. So here we have the lightweight forged aluminium wheels, the AP Racing four-pot calipers all round, front and rear, and 332 millimetre discs. Um, very much focus on high-level braking performance uh, with a 60-40 weight split. Um, it's a great car under brakes. So in the Roadster here, we've introduced a bimodal exhaust system. There's a control inside the car where you can push the button to go for the, the louder, more sporty tone. Or if you're just cruising, you just close the valve and it becomes nice and quiet and um, easy to cruise. The V6 was great. The first time you start it up, the exhaust note is, is really something special. Lotus have, have done some good work with the, the engine mapping to make sure it roars into life. The chassis, the extruded aluminium bonded chassis. There's no welds on this car, it's all glued together. There's no other manufacturer that does that. The current Lotus, they've got all the things you need, air conditioning, electric windows, leather seats, um, all the things you want. But it still has that light weight to be a real driver's car. I guess you'd call it a compliant monster. <laughs> Lotus have implemented some driver aids into this car, which historically Lotus owners are pretty much against. But the driver aids in the new V6 Exige have just blown us away. We couldn't believe how good it was. Where Lotus have made it a little bit heavier, they far outweighed the compensation by adding a lot more power, a lot more braking performance. It's a joy to drive. You could drive it out of showroom today and be at a track tomorrow. The Exige S and the Elise S in particular, these cars are ready to go. We often have customers at the track within the first thousand Ks. The ownership experience of driving Lotus, it's not just buying a car. When I bought my Lotus, basically got a lifestyle. There's track days, there's a driving academy, there's social events and the ability to go and talk to like-minded enthusiasts who are serious about driving. Yeah. 
one of our club members said, oh, the previous model Exige has got a master's degree. This new V6 has got a PhD. 